Walker, and today I just wanted to show you something. That's a great um, app you can buy. You have I have the trial version right now. I'm most likely going to get the real one, but you can still do pretty much everything in it. And this app is called Clean My Mac. Here's the logo. I'll put the link to download it in the sidebar. And basically what this does is it goes through your whole hard drive and cleans up everything you don't use. And that's also a quick erase. Um, like let's say you have an app you want to delete. You know, like the little app zapper thing. It has that built in. So you drag that and it deletes everything from that app. And you can any file that trash will say it's in use. It can't delete. You just drag here and deletes it. But basically this will go through all your caches, deletes if you don't have all your logs, language files, universal binaries. If you're running on an Intel Mac and you still have old PowerPC binaries, it'll delete those and old widgets that you don't use. So then what you do is you just click scan and it goes through relatively quickly. And you'll see right now it's already found in the cache. It's found, alright, logs, it's done. It found 15 megabytes of the log files to get rid of. If you go to cache right here, you'll see it already found 600 megab it found 650 megabytes worth of files it can delete. Universal binaries, it's already found 120 megabytes. Language file. This will keep languages, it gets rid of all the weird languages. Like, it'll keep Spanish, French, English, all those ones, about 12 of them. And it'll delete, like, Swahili and that stuff. If you, and you can tell it what not to get. So basically, that's it. I'll stop the scan now. And when you're done... It'll have all this stuff here, and you'll it'll say you have 106. Actually, it anyway. It'll say you have all the stuff you want to delete, and you click the remove button, and then it'll delete it. And I'm gonna buy this now, but see, it's deleting stuff. So I just delete some logs and caches because that's as much space as I have. And you can also go into your preferences and see here are the languages to keep. It keeps all these ones, and you can add more. And then you can put checker updates. You can say if you want to delete these or not those. You have to be the admin to do that. You can get help, and then you just go back to the scan menu. That's pretty much it. It's a great tool to use. It's about $15 online. I'll put the link in the sidebar if you want to get it. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.